Hi everyone, welcome back to Bex Flavor. Thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time on my channel, I'd like to give you a very warm welcome. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you become part of the Bex Flavor family. Yes, today we are making Sobolo drink or Sobo Bisop or Sobo drink using hibiscus flowers okay as you can tell this drink is obviously enjoyable and any member of your family can enjoy this you can enjoy this cold hot with sugar without sugar you can also use other sweeteners to sweeten up your drink okay so let's go ahead so that i can show you how i make this easy drink so Bolo drink is not only enjoyable to drink but it's packed with other benefits and here are some of the benefits that I've listed for you so you know how good this drink is. For this drink I will be using dried hibiscus flowers you can get from any Asian store. I've got some frozen pineapple skins that I had a while back in my freezer that I just kept. I've also got some pineapple chunks in juice. You can just use fresh pineapple. And I've got some cinnamon and some pineapple flavor as well, just to give it that extra kick. Some sugar to flavor it. I've got some ginger, grain of psyllium, and some cloves. I will start off by rinsing my hibiscus flour, just giving it a wash because I don't know what's on it. So I like to wash this off and clean it a little bit before I start putting it together. After rinsing my flour, I place it in the pan and I add my pineapple skins into it and my pineapple chunks. I'll also add all the ginger and the cloves and the grain of psyllium. I'll add all the ingredients in the description box below, also the amount that I use, but you can go ahead and use any amount that you like, it's up to you. And then I'll add some pineapple flavor just so that I can get a bit more of the pineapple flavor and some of the cinnamon as well like I mentioned before you can decrease any of these flavors to your taste you can decide to add less ginger or more ginger it's entirely up to you and then I'll go ahead and cover it with lots of water I will leave this to stand overnight so that I can get most out of the flour because the longer you leave it, the more you can get out of the flour. So after the next day, I realized that I could add some more water as all the juices have come out nicely. So I went ahead and added some more water to the pan and I will now go ahead and cook everything together for about 30 minutes. So this has been cooking for about 30 minutes and as you can see it's looking great and the smell guys if you could smell it you would love it and it's so good to drink it's so enjoyable to drink you can have it hot you can have it cold it's good for your immune system and all the other health benefits that you get from this drink it's truly amazing so definitely try it so now my drink is all ready and i'm just going to turn the heat off and let it cool down Now that the drink is all fully cooled down, I've got here a strainer that I've got from Amazon. So if you look on Amazon, you can find one of these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and strain all the bits out of the drink. I don't want any of the bits in the drink. So this strainer is really good. It literally strains everything. It doesn't take anything with it, just the liquid. So I'll just go ahead and strain the drink. 
Please do this when your drink is fully cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself. Now that I'm done with straining my drink, I'll go ahead and add some sugar just to flavor it up. You can use any other sweetener of your choice, so you can use honey. Some people like to use dates as well, or you can simply just drink it by itself. It's fine because obviously you want to get all the health benefit out. So maybe adding the sugar to it is a bit, you know, but hey, my sweet tooth is, you know, what it is. <laughs> So go ahead and add any sweetener of your choice. And really and truly, it's that easy. The drink is ready. So I'll just go and pour it into my jugs and ready to enjoy this drink. It's so easy and so simple to make this drink. You really can't go wrong. You don't have to steep it overnight, but I realized that if you steep it overnight, you can get more juices out of it and you can add more liquid. So go ahead and do that or just cook it straight away. That is fine as well. And there we are, simple, and the whole family is ready to enjoy this drink. It's that easy. No complication to it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the Sobolo video. I really hope you try it, guys. It's so good. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment, comment below what you will have with this lovely Sobolo. As you can see, I'm having mine with my you know this already yeah if you haven't seen my meat pie recipe please go on my channel and watch the recipe okay for now i'm gonna leave you and i'll see you in my next video let me go ahead and enjoy my sober.